Why do we age? Why do we grow older? Even though our cells have the ability to regenerate and clone themselves, shouldn't we then live forever? Well, the answer lies locked up within our cells. The human body is composed of skin cells, muscle cells, brain cells, cardiac cells and a whole array of other cells and connective tissue which we know as the human body. Within each cell lies the ability to replicate itself, locked up in the building plant we call DNA or dioxyribonucleic acid. One of the reasons we age is because each time the cell divides, protective caps on the end of DNA called telomeres get shorter. This is a ticking time bomb, because when cells have divided enough and the telomeres are too short, they cannot replicate themselves anymore, and this is the reason for aging. One phenomenon responsible for accelerated death and cancer is free radicals. These are oxidative molecules that rips electrons from protein and DNA and complex molecules. Free radicals are metabolic byproducts. When DNA is damaged by free radicals, cell death or even cancer results from this because the cell building plan is damaged. Here we have a simple experiment to show the destructive nature of oxidation and free radicals. In the one glass we have sodium hypochloride, also known as bleach. This is a strong oxidizing agent. In the other control glass we will add normal tap water. Now we add a strawberry to both glasses and wait 10 hours. We can see how chlorine oxidizes molecules responsible for color absorption within the strawberry. It also damages cell membranes and is highly destructive to cells in the strawberry. The control strawberry looks the same as before. When we cut the strawberries, we can see that the chlorine has infiltrated almost the entire strawberry within 10 hours. Chlorine kills bacteria and small organisms easily because it disrupts cell membranes. Chlorine is widely used in drinking water and studies suggest that long-term exposure to chlorinated drinking water is associated with an increased risk for bladder and rectal cancer. Even though studies are limited on this topic, I advise users to filter tap water. Just another quick way to see the aggressive oxidative nature of chlorine is to eliminate the color of methylated spirits with a few drops of sodium hypochloride. For those interested in the structure of organic molecules, I advise you to check out a program or an online program called Canvas Mole. Here you can look at all kinds of different molecules from serotonin to dopamine and you can, you can look at what the carbon structure or the organic molecule structures look like. You can even look at very complex molecules like DNA and certain proteins and enzymes. Thank <laughs> you.